Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, last week when I was doing my workout I had a little bit of um, pain in my kind of calf Achilles area which would have been similar to what I had when I had shin splints many many years ago. So it got me thinking about the battery of exercises and the rehabilitation routine that I have done for my um, shin splints when I had them. Now again this was a quite a good few years ago but I still prescribe this battery of exercises to a lot of my patients who come in with shin splints and I find these just going through these very simple very basic exercises is a very good way to kind of rehabilitate through that um, phase if you have um, any sort of shin splints or shin splint type syndrome um, compartment syndrome again they, they kind of fit into the same kind of general area and the exercises seem to work really well with both you can also do these they work really well if you have plantar fasciitis as well it's like I said a lot of those conditions are kind of non-specific so therefore the the rehab um, protocol kind of is general and broad so I find doing these uh, very good. The first exercise is just kind of a warm up and then we go straight into like an activation. Once we activation done, um, we will have the uh, dynamic stretch for both the um, gastrocnemius and the soleus muscles, so the two muscles that make up the calf complex. And then once you finish them, I go into like a little bit of a dynamic exercise and then finish off with like a, a, a little bit of explosion exercise. And again, if your shin splints are not too bad, I would say do these before you go off your run and then do them, like maybe just do one set of what I'm gonna show you now before you run, and then after you run, you could kind of do another two sets maybe. Um, if your shin splints are pretty bad and very acute, I would say kind of ease off the running as much as you can and, and just try and do these, and then build up the running really slowly. But anyway, let's get into the exercise and you can see what I've been talking about. So the first thing I'm gonna do once I get out on the road, or before I leave the house to go on the road, is uh, bring the two feet back enough that I can have a little bit of a knee bend, okay? And I'm just gonna bend one knee in, keep the other one locked out and then I'm just going to alternate. So this is kind of like an activation or a warm up just to get the calves moving. So I can start it pretty slow and then I can kind of speed it up into what would kind of simulate a run. And again you're just getting those ankle joints, knee joints and all the muscles in between that calf all activated and moving. Okay and then once we finish that I'm going to stand with the feet about a meter or two and a half, three feet away from the wall. I'm going to bring one leg in, so my left leg is in, my right knee has the capability to bend and then stretch out. And what I'm going to do is use a little bit of tension, just drop it down and back up. So I'm really getting those soleus muscles, get a big stretch and then flex it back out. So I'm right up and down and I'm going to get about 10 on that side. So there's a little bit of tension being built up through that calf as I do that. And then I'll change over, so other leg in, right leg comes in now, there's no weight on this right foot. All the weight is being pushed through the back heel on the left, and I'm just going to let that knee bend in and then straighten it out. So it's up now, and I really feel that activating through my lower Achilles and up into that soleus muscle, which attaches just below the knee but not going above the knee joint. That's it. Now, if that gets the if that gets the soleus muscle, I want to get the, the uh, gastroc muscle next. So I'm going to take a step, and it's important that you have a little bit of step. You can use the curb outside of your outside. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the heel drop below the level of the ground, or uh, what would be the ground, and then I'm going to push up. So again, it's just 10 of that stretch with resistance through that gastrocnemius muscle. That's it, and then I'll change over and do the left side. So again, it's important that you can let that heel drop down below the level of the ground or what it will be, and then it's up and down. So again, a little bit of resistance training. If you're, like I said at the beginning, if your shin splints are too sore that you can't run, then you could just do these on the days where you would run. Very good exercises just to help you rehabilitate that. From there then I'm going to go into that static or dynamic stretch. So this time I'm going to have the right leg in near the wall, the left leg is out, so I'm getting a real big stretch on the gastric muscle. The knee is totally locked out on the left side, so there's no bend in the knee because the gastric muscle attaches above the knee. So if the knee is bent, you're going to get the soleus muscle. So from there, we will switch over, bring the right leg back, bring the left leg in again. The ankle is pushing down towards the ground, the left heel is being pushed into the ground. There's no weight on this left leg. My right knee is totally locked out. It has to be to get a stretch on that gastroc muscle. Hold it there. And relax. This time bring the left leg back, but not as far this time, so the left leg is not going back as far as the right. Bring the right leg 
in and this time push the two knees bent. So there's no weight on this right leg, it's nice and loose. All the weight's gone into that back heel again and I'm pushing that left knee in towards the wall. So I feel a massive stretch come through that soleus muscle. Very important that the knee has to be bent because like I said, the soleus muscle doesn't attach above the knee. So having the knee bent is how you get it stretched. Change over. Drop that down. Hold it there for a couple of seconds again with that right knee bent. All the weight is going to push through that right heel. Hold it there. So we've done kind of the activation. We've done a little bit of resistance. We've done the dynamic stretch. I would finish up then. What I would do um, is just coming up into a calf raise. And then as I come down, I rock and I let my toes come up off the ground. So I can go for about 10 of those. And as the pain subsides or as the shin splints start to get a little bit easier, you can bring that into like a little hop. So you come up. And you can build that up. So that's great. That's all those exercises done. The other thing that I should mention is that um, going along with doing those exercises, it would be very good to get some sort of just general mobility um, if you are running or if you're taking your running up. So what I'm going to do is I will link just here um, a video of um, me doing some general uh, running mobility exercises. Throwing this in maybe once or twice a week along with doing these exercises is going to be absolutely fantastic in terms of your ability to keep running without being any injury. Um, remember guys, run far, run fast, most of all. Run sensible.